Hello, this is Nicolas Filon, so FAE at ST Microelectronics. And this lab, so I call it Lab Zero, we will save you know, the original code that came on your board. So out of the box, there is a code that is already programmed inside the stm 32 c 0 a quick demo. And we will save the content uh, using our tool called stm 32 Cube Programmer. And I also will show you how to flash you know, your board using actually no tools. So a cool way you know, of doing it using the master rage feature of your ST-Link on your board. So before we get started with the actual labs of this MOOC, we will save the content of the original code that was programmed on your nuclear board. So there is a pre-programmed you know, demonstration code. So that came uh, right there, one out of the box. And we will uh, learn how to you know, read the flash and save it into a binary file using our STM32 Cube Programmer. You should have by now installed on your machine two applications, two programs. The first one is the STM32 Cube Programmer. So this is what we're going to use you know, during this Lab Zero. And then you should also have the STM32 Cube ID, so at least a version 1.10.1. So in my case, I have a version 1.11.2. You should have also a nuclear board, so Nucleo C031C6, and a USB cable, so a micro USB cable connected to it. Now, what you're going to do is plug your board or plug your cable to your machine. It will be enumerated and it should be a solid red, you know, uh, on the LED LD1 for the COM. So this will indicate that the ST-Link has been enumerated and installed properly. So the drivers, the USB drivers are OK. Now we're going to open stm 32 Cube Programmer. So double click on the icon. OK, so this is, you know, the Cube Programmer. So as you can see, I'm running a version 2.12.0. So you should have at least a version 2.10.0. OK, so what we're going to do first, we're going to connect, you know, to the ST-Link. So press connect right here. This will read the content of the flash. So you see there is you know, already like a program inside. That's what we want to save. So this is the beginning of the address of the flash right there. To save the content of the flash, the whole flash, we're going to change the size to 8 thousand in hexadecimal. So this is, you know, 32 kilobytes. And this is actually the uh, full size of the flash of this microcontroller, the STM32 uh, C031, C6, D6 in this case. But uh, as you can see here, flash size, 32 kilobytes. And here you can also see 32 kilobytes. So now to save the content, we're going to go to read right there and save as now you're going to uh, go to a directory where you want to save, you know, your uh, uh, your file. So I'm going to save it in this temp directory, and I'm going to give a name. So you can save, you know, some .bin, .x, or .srec. In our case, we are going to call, you know, like a save a binary file .bin, and give the name that you want. I gave original .bin, and then press save. OK, now we have saved, you know, the content. So we're good. We can restore it at the end, for example, of the book or when you want. Uh, I want to show you another way to restore, you know, without using any tool. So let's say that, you know, we're going to start from a blank or like a, a chip that is erased. So stm 2 c 0 that has a flash completely erased. So we're going to erase the content of the flash. OK, achieved. That's fine. So now it's completely blank. So if we go back here and read, it's all FF, which is, you know, the default you know, values of the flash. So that means it's completely erased. Now we can disconnect. So go here, you know, and click disconnect. Now open an Explorer, you know, window. So here, for example, I am in my C drive. 
and go to the directory where you know you saved the project. So remember, you know this uh, original .bin. So find you know the file, and what you're going to do is drag and drop it to this drive here, which is called node underscore c zero thirty one c six. Et voilà, you have your original code that is restored on your nuclear board. So you can play with it, you know, like if you press the user button, which is the blue button on your nuclear board, you will see that the LED is going to blink faster and faster. So the code has been restored. And uh, now you have also the binary in case you want to restore it when you want.